Been messing around with this a little bit. Sorry I didn't videotape everything. But uh, as you can probably see here, I went ahead and cleaned all this old undercoating off. I used a handheld torch. Oops, sorry about that. Used a handheld torch and a scraper and just scraped it all down. Now I'm gonna use some uh, gasoline on a rag and try to wipe what's left off of there. It seems to eat it away pretty quick. All right, let's see what we can do. Let's do that, how about that? All right, I got this driver's side looking real good. Uh, I'm real happy with that. Like I said, I mean, all this stuff's gonna be cut out uh, when I go put the straight axle under it and all that, but I don't know how long that's gonna be. Hopefully not too long, but in the meantime, I'm gonna be driving this car and I want it to look good. So um, I still have to do the inside of the fender and I did find where the fender bolts up right along in well right along in here actually um there's uh, some rust through on the flange that i've got to repair um before i can put that up there and i'm going to try to put those out um instead of scraping them because there's paint on them i can't really i'm using a torch so i don't want to do that and damage my paint so i'm going to put them out and lay them on a moving blanket out uh in the grass out there and i'm going to try to put some aircraft stripper or something on there 
see if my uh, pressure washer will take that undercoating off without having to do a whole lot of scraping on it. I don't want to put a crease in it like that. I don't, I'm going to try not to do that. So anyway, I'm going to move on over to the uh, other side and get started. Yeah, this is pretty much what the other side looked like uh, before I started on it. So I'm gonna start uh, using my torch and my scraper and scraping this undercoating off. I'm gonna start down here on the low areas first while I have it up in the air. And then I'll, uh, once I get all this down here, I'll slide it down and um, where I can sit in a chair. Cause you know, big old boys like me like sitting in chairs. So, just to show you guys this, I'm not saying this car will ever be any kind of a serious competitive race car or anything, but just for you guys out there, guys and girls that are uh, looking to build a race car and want to reduce weight, this was just undercoating. And um, the rubber strips that seal around here up against the fender just to keep the water and debris out they weren't any good anymore uh they weren't keeping much out at all so i took them off might put something back i don't know probably not right away but just this right here there's a little bit of metal and stuff rusty metal that i took off of course i added a little bit back putting good metal in but the amount i took out just by scraping this undercoating out I mean, this probably weighs, not counting the pan, 10 pounds. I mean, it's probably 10 pounds of undercoating just in the front wheel wells. It's not even off the fenders yet. So, um, you know, if you're looking to, you know, go out and race your car, this is one way you can cut a little bit of weight, scrape the undercoating off. The whole bottom of this car has this stuff on it too. So I'm gonna end up taking all that off eventually. But, um, but yeah weight reduction a different kind of weight reduction on purpose all right what we're going to do we're going to take some gas on a rag again like we did this side and clean up the residue that's in the wheel well here get that all cleaned up then we'll clean it up with some lacquer thinner prime it paint it you know we'll uh sand down the brake drum like we did and uh, just make it look better here we go so check this out Got this side done, but uh, got a little surprise, something else I found that I gotta fix. Check this out. That's not one of those fancy fender well lights. 
that there's under the battery box. There's a rust hole there that I'm gonna to have to repair. Also, the battery box itself, if you look at it, it's had some, uh, it's had that one flanged edge cut completely off. Uh, this end of it was rotted away. So, I'm trying to, I was trying to decide whether to uh, build a hammer form die to make this. Cause see that pattern in the bottom of it? That's actually built to where it all slopes towards that hole. It's a drain hole so that the water can get out of that so it doesn't rust out. First thing I gotta do is get in here and mark where I'm gonna cut this. Grab me a shorter scale. Just want to make some relatively straight lines. Like I said, I'm going to make a pattern off of the hole, so I have to be perfect, but I like to get them a little bit somewhat close. I see a little rust hole there that I want to get rid of. And you can see, I don't know if you can see or not, but that's a little detailed hole there. I don't really know what that's for or if it's for anything. Um, but I don't need it for anything. So, there's nothing that's bolted to the car right now. I'm gonna get rid of that too. And then what I'll do, is uh, take this all the way over to the uh, radiator support and I'll just build a flange on it and uh, drill for my spot weld. The spot weld that straight to the radiator support. All right. Now let's cut this out, make up a panel, weld it back in. Same old, same old. Time lapse, begin. So I'm gonna get in here and make a pattern for this piece. Stick it up to there. There's a basic shape. We'll cut outside that line where it'll fit right up to that hole. And then we're gonna add three quarters of an inch, the flange on this end so we can bring that out and break it down. All right. Now. So 
so we've got a piece of scrap here. I don't like to waste my steel because it is not cheap. And we're gonna come out another three quarters of an inch to there. All right, and we'll mark our brake line. We want that brake line right in the center of those blue lines. All right. Good. Now let's mark our edge. All right. All right, so got our piece of steel here, sheared out. I said these, uh, this one line I traced on it is not actually a uh, straight line where I cut it out with that wheel. So I'm gonna cut it back to the highest points of the paint and then we'll grind it back the rest of the way. That line's kind of bowed that I ground out, so I took it to this high spot right here, and we'll just grind till we grind all the blue away. Now, we'll shear it in the middle of those lines, and then put our flange on. All right, should be okay. Got a little spot there I'm gonna hammer out. All right, we've got this thing drilled and cut and ground, D-bird, all that good stuff. I'm gonna pop it up there and use my fancy panel clamps. bottom. Let's see what it looks like on that side. Got the wheel wells done. Uh, looks pretty good, I'm happy with it.